Good afternoon, this is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. Today, um, in the inspiration, we are reading about Thomas Fuller, and it is Good Thoughts in Bad Times and Other Papers. So it's something that he had written, and it's just one little sentence. It says, Lord, either lighten my burden or strengthen my back. How many of us can understand that? And the prayer is, Dear Heavenly Father, please give me the strength I need to get my work done. As I read through the book of Proverbs, I see many challenges to work hard, to put away laziness, and to reap the rewards of honest effort. But sometimes I feel as though I'm burning the candle at both ends, and there's still not enough time in the day. I humbly ask for your support. Please provide me with the energy to do what I need to do, the discipline to avoid wasting my time on irrelevant matters, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. How many of us need to pray that prayer? I can remember when my children were little and I was serving the Lord, I would get up with them. Well, before, actually, I would get up before them, and I would spend like a good half hour or so with the Lord, read my Bible and pray, and then I would begin to cook them breakfast. I'd wake them up, get them up, and get them ready for school, feed them, get them on the bus, and then I would go, and I would begin my day in study. Then my husband would get up, and I would spend you know, the day with him until he went to work, so he worked afternoons. And uh, he would usually leave around 2.30, I believe it was, and then the kids would get home about 5 after 3 every single day off the bus. And then, you know, I would spend time with them, we'd prepare dinner, we'd eat dinner. Uh, they'd take a bath every night. Um, at this time, they were old enough to bathe themselves. And usually DJ would spend time, you know, watching television or whatever he was doing, Jessica usually um, she was in cheerleading or did other things outside of the home for school so she had the extracurricular activity there and I'd have to you know run her around and all that and then I'd put him to bed usually about 7 30 each night unless it was summertime and then it would be about 8 30 but we had a routine but before I had that routine it seemed like it was chaos like I did not have time for anything which I had plenty of time I just did not understand how to manage my time so finally I was so frustrated because it felt like you know I was either spending all this time with the Lord and neglecting the kids and my husband or spending all this time with my kids and my husband neglecting the Lord it was like I did not know how to fit it all in in the waking hours so I went to the Lord in prayer and I asked him to help me manage my time and he did thankfully and i am so so thankful that he did because during you know this this time period my children was of the age that they were very impressionable and it was the time of their growth that would make them the kind of adults that they would be today so i was very blessed that the father helped me to just shift things around to where first and foremost he was first so I would get up and I would sacrifice my sleep so to speak get up and spend time with him at least a half hour dedicating my day to him reading the word talking with him and enjoying my time with him and then preparing the breakfast for the children eating breakfast with the kids sending them off to school and then spending a little bit more time with the Lord and then my husband would get up and I got to spend several hours with him throughout the day. Um, Either it was deer hunting or making hunting shacks or butchering meat, you know, I would wrap it, whatever. We would do it together. There was always a togetherness. And then when he went to work, you know, I would, uh, you know, get the house cleaned up, the kids would be home and then I would make dinner and then the three of us would sit there and have dinner together. Now, you know, after a while, my husband, he had switched shifts. 
to where he was home at night so he would be getting home himself around 4 4 4 30 and so I would switch it around to where our dinner time was a little bit later but I would still get up early before the kids make them breakfast see him off to work get the kids off to school spend the majority of the day with me and the Lord all by ourselves studying praying talking enjoying then I would get up and I would get the house clean because you always have to clean your house every day so I would get up and clean the house you know the living room and all this stuff begin to pre prepare dinner so when the kids came home and my husband came home we could all sit there and always have dinner together and then get them in the shower get them in the bathtub let them have their free time doing whatever they were doing and I would spend time with my husband outdoors you know like I said we would either be hunting we'd be butchering we'd be making hunting shacks whatever we would be doing and then if he didn't work on weekends we would always be going out doing something but the bottom line is if you go to the father say father I want the right amount of time I want to be able to manage my time in the way that you want me to manage it and not not you know be slothful not to like you know be slacking in any area of my life there's no reason for that we need to understand that there's at least 16 hours of the daytime that we could be doing we could be doing something you know if you're not praying if you're not reading if you're not studying you could be cleaning you could be cooking you could be spending time with family whatever spending time with the lord but we should always be doing something be productive some way somehow you know i have found that you know now that i'm older and my kids are grown i'm no longer married i'm just you know i just take care of myself basically and i live within a group of people you know my best friend and her children my sister and also my ex-husband is who we uh, rent the house from i I spend most of my time back here in this room that I call my bedroom. It's actually a sun porch. And uh, I spend a lot of time either in the Word or I'm listening to the Word through sermons from like David Wilkerson, uh, Zach Pullman, oh, like David Pawson. There's people that, you know, specific people that I like to listen to. Paul Washer, I enjoy him a lot also. But there's more things that I could be doing that I just, you know, I have not been doing. And here lately, within the last couple of weeks, the Lord has really kicked it up. And he says, you know, you, you've got things that you got to make. And so he has given me the ability, because I don't have the ability myself, but he's given me the ability and the stamina to be able to make soaps and lotions and shampoos and deodorants and stuff like that and get these things prepared for people that may be in need you know in the coming months and that i'm able to be able to provide it so you know that's a beautiful thing but that all comes from the lord and we need to understand if we go to him and ask him to help us manage he always always will he's faithful even when we're not he is faithful so i want you to think about that word there because that I believe is very important lighten my burden or strengthen my back you know we add things upon ourselves that you know there's no need there's just absolutely no need to add anything to our burden because Jesus said you know come to him his yoke is easy and his burden is light you know, give him your burdens. So quit trying to carry other people's burdens, other people's troubles and stuff. Give it to the Lord and just do what the Lord wants you to do. And is pray for people. Serve him with your whole heart. And to serve other people. You know, it's really not that difficult. But we make it more difficult than we should. We do. He does not we do. I love you all. Bye-bye.